Hello, welcome to Rainbow Six Siege's newest update, Velvet Shell. In this update, they've added two new characters, Jackal on the left and Mira on the right. We're going to be looking at Mira today. Mira is a three armor, one speed operator with a submachine gun, a shotgun, a secondary sidearm shotgun, and a pistol. I always go with the secondary shotgun. Her special ability is that she places a black mirror on a wall. This wall can be reinforced or not. When placed, it's a one-way mirror that is bulletproof. So enemies can shoot at it, but the bullets won't go through. Explosives will destroy the mirror, and it is one way. You can see out through it, but they can't see in. She's kind of shaking up the meta a little bit, and almost becoming a necessity for gathering information on the attackers as they're coming in, and where they'll be coming from. Just here, showing it off, you can do it on reinforced or just plain old walls. It's interesting to note that it does destroy a part of the reinforced wall to do this. I'm not quite sure how it does that without the thermite charges. And as you just saw, it is bulletproof. And from the outside, it's called the Black Mirror for a reason. And her name is Mira. What a coincidence, huh? You can fire around it when it's not placed on a reinforced wall and destroy the wall around it, thus destroying it. But it takes a lot of effort, and if you're not using an explosive to do this, there's no point in taking the time to carefully shoot it out. It is not destroyed by Bandit's electric batteries. You can place mutes right behind it. It has a small pressure valve, which you can shoot and break. And when broken, it breaks the mirror, allowing you to fire out and enemies to fire in. Here I was just trying her out on Terrorist Hunt. She doesn't add a whole lot to that mode, but her shotgun sure is lovely. Being a 3 armor 1 speed, she is pretty slow. She doesn't look it, but yeah, she is a very slow operator who's very tanky. When playing as her, I tend to take the C4, just it has more variety to it. I'm often standing next to a black mirror, so I don't find the shield too helpful. It doesn't even go to the height of the mirror. And on top of that, C4 is just, again, such a great utility, very handy for dealing with shield operators. You'll also see that there are people speaking, but they're not coming through. When I play, I put myself in a solo party, and it prioritizes party audio as opposed to the game, so we won't be hearing other people, so they won't end up in the LP, you know, just randomly, and I never know what they're going to say, so it's just easier that way. You can always tell when a wall is allowing her to set up a black mirror because of it's a green light. Red means no. Ten seconds left. Boy, do I feel really stupid for saying that out loud, but I'm going to leave it in anyway. feels a little bit weird to use, in all honesty, because you just sit there and you can just watch them. And they can't see you. They imagine someone is there, but it just feels a little spooky watching them. It should also be mentioned, Mira's submachine gun is kind of a beast. It has very low damage, but puts out a lot, a lot of bullets, making it a headshot machine. It's just so easy. 
provided you get the shot in first. Because if you're going for body shots, you'll lose on that trade generally. Now, Mira is powerful. Generally, the new operators are kind of powerful when they first arrive, either because people are not adjusted to them yet, or because they haven't been fully balanced. Everyone remembers Blackbeard and his indestructible shield. Despite how powerful Mira is and how much she brings to the team, she's not indestructible. As you'll be seeing here, if you're just coming from points where she can't see you from, there's nothing that she can do about it. On top of that, you can break her mirror with explosives, as I've mentioned. An ash charge just breaks it real easy, nice and smooth, and then you can just fire in. And if you're just coming from every angle, there's nothing Mira can really do about that. But I, I give it a good show in this clip. But as a, just a heads up, this is going to end poorly for me. The enemies realize that the mirrors are there. So they're trying to play as carefully as possible. They're playing the windows instead of using the hallways. And because of that, I can't tell where they're coming from other than the one window. And my teammates are dropping like flies, trying to hide low down, keeping sight lines covered. Again, C4 is a great utility. And somebody fell into a frost trap. That doesn't happen all the time, but it's always wonderful when it does. And then I look away at the exact wrong second. All friendlies were eliminated. If I hadn't, I could have maybe pulled that off. But it was a 4v1. So I found Tachanka could set up his turret right behind the mirror and fire through it when it's blown open. And his shield protects him and everything. Like before, here is another example of how to counter Mira. Causing a lot of chaos, not letting you sit there and watch through the mirror, staying out of sight of it. They're all very simple things to do, but not always the easiest. Depending on the map, wherever the reinforcements are set up may be very pivotal to how you have to enter and how you have to attack, making the Black Mirrors very deadly. On the other hand, that can also be very fortunate for the attackers because if they have an ash, if they have a way to blow those black mirrors up, then that's just free kill holes for them. Again, here you can see that Bandit's electric batteries do not break the mirror or damage it at all. I almost expected it to, or at least to block it from being placed, but no, it's perfectly fine. Echo keeps sending his drone outside with a jump. But a bang to the existence of Mira, and something you might see people using more often with Capitao and other defend other attackers, I mean. Smoke. Smoke grenades, the smoke crossbow bolts. You can just fire those or lob them right next to the mirrors. And you can't see out of them because there's just a big puff of smoke. Here I am failing to secure a kill on somebody while also opening the mirror and making things a bit more dangerous for us. Something to keep in mind when you're playing is to be aware of your surroundings, unlike this Echo here who's just sitting out in the open. And keep in mind where your allies are aiming their guns and where they need open sight lines. Because you might end up in the crossfire, making them hesitate to get the kill shot. Like so. I can't entirely fault him, but it sucked. Anyway, that's Mira for now. Next, we'll be going over Jackal, the other new operator from the Velvet Shell update.